I don't think this is possible. There's just too much to include for only $20. I don't have a hat, but my girlfriend does. And here it is. Not a hat hat, but one of those like beanie hats. Pretty nice. All right, as you can see, all of them are in the hat. All right, they're all in the hat. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. And I'm not peeking. Anymore. And tomahawk. Let's get started, I'm excited. I'll have one week to do research, design, and build, and then a final test will be done. I will judge the weapon on three categories. One, being creativity and artistic design. Two, being functionality. Hell yeah. And then last, but not, Last but not least, durability. Welcome back to high school. I don't, do, I don't want this to be really boring, but to really understand and appreciate something, I feel like you have to know where it came from. We'll be glancing over the four categories on your screen. I assume you guys can read, but if you can't, you can always ask my puppy. Bear, say hello. But you'll probably have to give him a Scooby snack. All right, probably the most important part of the tomahawk is the head. It's compromised of three parts. The cutting edge, the attachment point, and the pole. Uh, the pole is a, another word for like the hammery thing on the back or the, the sharp edge. The head can be made from stone or steel. Next, we have the shaft. The only thing that you should really know about the tomahawk shaft is that it's made from hardwood or plastic. But more importantly, is that it's straight. This is the main difference between what a hatchet is and what a tomahawk is. A hatchet has a curved shaft and the tomahawk has a straight shaft. I also researched common sizes that tomahawks came in. The takeaway here is to have a cutting edge that's less than four inches and a shaft that is less than two feet. So that should be easy enough. Finally, I did a little historical digging. The tomahawk was originally used by the Algonquin Native Americans, I'm not sure if I said that right, in what is now Canada. Although they would have been using the stone version during the Revolutionary War in the late 18th century, the Continental Congress required military men to carry either a tomahawk or a cutting sword. So the tomahawk served as a weapon for hand-to-hand -hand combat and smacking things. If you'd like to learn more about the tomahawk, I'll have them posted down below. Now to the design part. I spent hours trying different combinations of materials for the handle attachment and the head. But everything just happened to be over $20. I was becoming frustrated with myself and I thought, I don't think this is possible. There's just too much to include for only $20. I was even thinking about just redoing the video and having the price increase. So I took a break and grabbed a snack. <laughs> and out of nowhere, an idea hit me right in the face. <laughs> Instead of thinking of the head, shaft, and the attachment as three separate items, I could think of them as one piece. So now the question is, is there something that the hardware store has that I can connect? Perhaps like Legos. So I gave it a shot. I came up with a little sketch while browsing the online inventory, and this is what I came up with. Turns out, the numbers worked. Success! Now it's time to head to the store. So I got here and didn't realize they were having a sale going on, so I might be able to save a little bit more money than I thought. I 
There it is. I am. So I'm back from the store now and it's time to total up the damage. The subtotal came to $22.02. This is because um, we had that sale that I mentioned before and I ended up buying some more cosmetic things. What I got was some black spray paint and paracord wrap. So without this, it would be about $4.21 cheaper if my math is correct. Heading out to my garage to start the build. The only thing that I actually have to work on is the blade. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you can't heat treat mild steel. There's not enough carbon in it for it to work. Where I am from, you work with what you have. First, drawing a nice design that I thought looked cool. I'm gonna cut out the rough shape with an angle grinder. To mark out the bevels, I'm using this little ball um, diamond dusted tip. All right, so the idea with this is I'm going to clamp this in with bolts. It's gonna sit in the blade or in the pipe like this. Before I can heat treat it, I gotta drill the holes here. If you guys wanna let me know, I'm not sure if you're supposed to heat treat it and then temper and then sharpen. All right, so it's getting kind of late, but I just finished. Just finished cleaning up everything too. So here's the first look at the finished, completed product. If I do say so myself, it's probably one of the coolest things I ever made. to give me a like comment and subscribe next couple days the test video is going to be coming out and I'm going to be judging this weapon on three categories one being artistic design two being functionality and three durability I think this thing could do some damage so thanks for watching see you next time